What's up internet? I am Manish from rebellionrider.com. Now is the time to move on to the next topic in record data type variables in Oracle database. Thus, today we will learn what cursor based records in Oracle database are and how to create them. Before jumping on to this tutorial, I just want to say that today's PL SQL tutorial will require the knowledge of database cursors and record data type variables. Luckily, I have done videos on both the topics. I would suggest you to check out those tutorials first. Find all the links in the description. So without further ado, let's start today's PL SQL tutorial and learn how to create cursor based record data type variables in Oracle database. So what are cursor based record data type variables? Cursor based records are those variables whose structure is derived from the select list of an already created cursor. As we know that record data types are composite data structures made up of multiple fields and in the case of cursor based record these fields are initialized by fetching the data from the select list of the cursor that was used to create this variable. I know at this point of time this definition sounds a little bit confusing but don't worry move along and all your confusions will disappear. So let's see how to create a cursor based record variable. The creation of cursor based record variable involves declaration of cursor based record, initialization of cursor based record and accessing data stored into the cursor based record variable. Let's start with the declaration of cursor based record. In order to declare a cursor based record, first we need to have a cursor over which we can design our record variable. So first let's create a cursor. Here is our cursor. This is the same simple explicit cursor which we had discussed in PL SQL tutorial 27. So for more details on simple explicit cursor, please watch that tutorial. Now let's use this cursor and declare our cursor based record variable. Here is how we declare a cursor based record. The declaration starts with the name of the record variable which is completely user defined followed by the name of an already created cursor and at the end percentage row type attribute which indicates that we are declaring a record data type variable to the compiler. As now we have declared our cursor based record data type variable next we have to initialize it. So let's see how to initialize a cursor based record. As we are initializing a record variable which is based on a cursor, thus we have to make sure that we should follow the cursor lifecycle properly. This means that before fetching the values from the cursor and storing them into the cursor based record variable, we have to open the cursor that was used to create this variable. Let's see how. Here in this execution section we first open the cursor using which we created our record variable and in the next line we are initializing it by fetching the data from the cursor. To do so we used fetch into statement of the cursor. This statement is fetching the data from the specified cursor which in our case is cur underscore rebellion rider and is storing it into the record variable. So that is how we initialized a cursor based record variable. Now. Let's move ahead and learn how to access this stored data from our record variable. Here we have two output statements which are displaying back the data stored into the record variable. As you can see the process of accessing the data from cursor based record variable is same as that of the table based record. Here we also use the dot notation for accessing the data. In the dot notation we first write the name of the record variable followed by a dot and then the name of the column. In case of table based record we have to write the name of the column of the table. But in case of cursor based record we can only write the name of those columns of the table which we specified in the select list of the cursor that is used to create the variable. These in our case are first name and salary. So that is how we access data from the cursor based record. So now that we have declared and initialized the cursor based record and have also fetched and displayed the data back to the user it seems like the work of the cursor is done here. Which means we have to close this cur underscore rebellion rider cursor now. 
this PL SQL block is complete. Have you noticed that we declared only one variable which is our record based variable and used this single variable to display back multiple values? If we would have taken the traditional approach then to do the same task we would have required two separate variables. Now you see how record variables make our lives easier. Anyways, let's execute this anonymous PL SQL block and see the result. Here is the output which is the first name and salary of the employee whose employee ID is 100. That's it for today's tutorial on how to create a cursor based record data type variable in Oracle database. Let's wind up this tutorial with a question and the question is can we assign the values of one record variable to another record variable? If you know the answer of this question then leave a comment down below or tweet me at Rebellion Rider. Stay tuned. In the next tutorial we will learn how to create a cursor record when the cursor is returning values from multiple rows. Hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new. Do make sure to like the videos as it keeps me motivated for producing more such quality rich content which is available for free on my YouTube channel just for you guys. So don't forget to like this video. You can also help others in learning as well as support me and my channel by sharing this video on your social media with your friends. Most importantly, subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from Rebellion Rider.